<sighs> Number four, it's Kazniver. As everything about Kazniver annoyed me, bro. Like after like a certain episode. And they started feeling each other's pain. Bro, I could not stand this show. I still watched it. Don't worry. I still finished the entire series. But, bro, I just, like, I felt it. Like, I felt like I was feeling their pain. Whatever they were feeling. Bro, I just could not stand watching this show. Like, like everything, I, every moment will make you mad. Because you're rooting for one person. But then you, and if you root for this person, you're hurting the other person. And you can't pick a side. You cannot pick a side. Anyone? Hey guys, it's your motherfucking boy Malik on Fleet 3.0 back at it again with another motherfucking video. Thank you for getting me to 323 subscribers. Thank you very much. I know I haven't been on YouTube for a minute, bro. First of all, I'm running out of ideas and I'm trying to find inspiration. Second, I'm back in the States for the time being. So now y'all gonna see me coming on time with these motherfucking videos. But let's get on to the meat and potatoes of why I'm making this video. So I just had a thought, right? I was going through my anime list and I was like, yo, like, when was the last time I've been mad about watching anime? When was the last time an anime pissed me off? And yes, I made a bunch of videos, or a couple, I don't know how many I made, about anime that pissed me off. But it was one video I remember making that talked about anime moments that pissed me off. Like, it was like top five, I think, or top seven. I don't know how many moments I made in that video. But I remember Kiz Niver being in, the, in one of these videos. I mean, in that video. And <clears throat> I wanted to talk about this anime a while back before I went to Korea. Like, I totally forgot about making the video for it. Maybe that's why I put it in the anime moments so I wouldn't have to. But for right now, like, I'm, like, I don't remember much about this anime, but I remember how much it pissed me off watching it. I remember how much it pissed me off watching it. First of all, I hate, I hate love triangles. Unless it's done right. But the reason I don't like love triangles in anime, or whatever this was, because this was a, it was loved, oh, I forgot how many people was in this anime, but it was like a love something. Like it was a bunch of people in love. Everybody was in love with somebody in this group. So what makes me mad about anime that does love triangles is that that one like I understand I understand I understand that that one person who just has to move on, but it feels so unauthentic. Like it feels so unauthentic. Like think about this: when you watch Darling the Franks, I forgot what's her name, but she was in love triangle with Hero and Zero Two, right? And she was so in love with um Hero. But then this bitch, because she had one dude in that group. I remember in Darling the Franks, there was this one dude that was in love with her. <coughs> but she did not want at all. She did not want that nigga. Until Zero Two and Hero disappeared, bro. That's the only reason that she fell in, uh, fell in love with the guy. Literally. That's why I don't like shit like that, dog. I don't like anime love triangles. Because when a person who loses goes on to another person, it does not feel right at all. First of all, most of the time in those love triangles, that third person should win. Let's keep it real, they should win, but they don't. And Kid Sniper is one of them. Everybody in this anime frustrated me, bro. I remember that pink haired dude was pining over the main character's childhood best friend the entire time. But props to him, he didn't show it. He didn't show it. He kept it deep because he knew that she was in love with the main character. 
I'm fine with that. I'm not even mad at him because that's what a man does sometimes, right? He does not have to put out his feelings. But especially in this, the, the prospect of what happened in this anime is that how they all have to feel each other's feelings and shit. Like, that's the problem I have. Because the childhood best friend went on to date the pink hair guy out of spite. You know what makes it worse? You know what makes it fucking worse? That the main character, right? He gets with that one girl that he, he was trying to get with the white haired girl that was just like him, right? That's what started this whole and this whole show. But he and her, they finally like got their emotions, right? They're in love with each other. And he I forgot he was in a hospital bed. I think so. Like, it's been a while, it's been like two years since I watched it. But this chick, the childhood best friend, dead ass. Cause I don't know if her and that pink hair guy dated or <clears throat> dating. But she walks in there and it's like, I'm still in love with this dude. I'm like, okay, but aren't you and what's his name together? Like, I'm confu I'm confused. Kids Nightmare was one of the most confusing anime of all time to me. Like this whole love uh, triangle, it's best to say love triangle. This whole love triangle they had going on with all these characters were stupid. We're just straight stupid. Especially how they still try to hide their emotions when they know they're all tied to the same pain whenever they feel something. Whatever one person feels, everybody feels it. So it made no sense how nobody was at this point. Bro, if my emotions and pain are together with other people, I'm confessing like a bitch. I, I'm sorry. Like, there's nothing. What, what am I supposed to do? Keep lying? Because that connection got so fucking strong to the point that they can hear each other's thoughts. Even if they're not near each other. Hell no. I'm telling whoever I love in the show, I love you. I have to say it now because I, I can never hold my peace. What, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do in this moment? Because I don't understand why they struggled so fucking hard. Like, I understand it's fucking up your whole way of life. See, so matter of fact, I'll give props to the childhood best friend because she did confess to the, the main character. He, She did do that. I give you props. But the bullshit y'all did for the 12 episodes, Fuck y'all. I hate every single one of y'all. Every character. I don't think there was one character I liked in this anime. None. Not a single one. Bro, it's this is one of the problems I have with romance animes. Because of bullshit like this. Because once they add supernatural to a romance anime, it gets kind of garbage. Like hot ass. Like Am I wrong? Darling and Franks was a good anime till it hit 15 because they started getting to episode 15. That's when they started adding really, I mean, like hardcore supernatural shit. <laughs> Fucked up everything. Kids Niver is one of my most hated anime of all time. To this day. <clears throat> it's up there with Onahana. It's up there. I mean, if you watch it, hey, you enjoy it, hey, that's up to you. It's just my opinion anime was ass everybody's motives in this anime was ass so you know that's up for me but thank you for all the subscribers hope you watched the video